Greetings, seekers of bloggy vlog vlogs. You have found the blog of Grey, the Grey Man. Graham. My name's Graham. The channel's called The Grey Man. I don't know, because I just chose it at the time. I didn't know I was going to make vlogs on it. But anyway, I'm The Grey Man, or just Graham, Grey. And it's my blog. It's my blog. It's my latest blog. It's my newest blog. It's today's blog. Today being the 29th of September, 2017. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So what have I done today? Today when I got to work, it was cordoned off by the police. Apparently the uh, shots were fired outside uh, our post office, where I work, by uh, somebody on a driving past in a car. At uh, people, we, basically we were next door to an off-license, and so all night you get people pissed up outside our off-license, outside our post office, using our post office box as a, as a rest for their beers and that. And uh, apparently someone took, uh, took a shot, a few shots at them as they went past last night. Don't ask me why. Um, hmm, I don't know. Uh, no idea. But anyway, we couldn't get into work for ages. We had to go to another post office for a while and do a bit of work there. Basically, uh, but long story short, we didn't get into our office till half past two. So I only had to do three hours work today. Ha <laughs> ha! Result. Uh, I don't know if anyone was, in, was uh, injured or nothing because there was no blood anyway. So, yeah, no one was hurt. So, hopefully, I don't think so anyway. But uh, anyway. <clears throat> so what else was I say? I think we, oh yeah, it was interesting. We um because our post office is being closed. I've told you this before on my blog where I'm being made redundant. We have no idea yet still when the the dates are. But we happened to call in on somebody who was supposed to be taking over one of the other local post offices, and it, it sounds a bit of a shambles to be honest. It sounds all a little bit um hmm, strange. Uh, probably not best to say too much about it because uh, I don't know. There's some rule about saying bad things about the post office when you work for them so i'm not going to slag them off uh, on the video i'll wait till i live finally leave and i can say whatever i like about them <laughs> right but they're a, they're a lovely employer anyway so i wouldn't obviously wouldn't have anything nasty to say about them they are lovely i love the post office please give me my redundancy money soon anyway so, what am I going to do now? I've got to earn no work tomorrow. No work tomorrow. I've got Saturday off. I'm going to do the notes for my podcast, which is coming on Sunday. Uh, yeah, maybe do a bit of a fallout. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. Fallout. <laughs> maybe make a video. I've got a few videos I've done recently for fallout uh, mods. Not many viewers. Come on. Watch my videos. No one watches this video, so... No one actually watches this video for me to tell them to watch my other videos, so I don't know why I bother saying it. Ah, uh, definitely in the future when people look back on me. When I was, I don't know, I, I, something will happen and I'll become some major mega star. All my videos will be watched loads and loads, obviously. And he says hopefully and making silly faces because that's what he does. No silly faces. <laughs> right, I've got a poem. I've got some history. Let's do the history first because I'm going to run out of battery. I should have uh, probably plug, should plug the charger in. Right, so on this day in history, the 29th of September in 1829, Prime Minister Robert Peel establishes the Metropolitan Police known as Bobbies in London. Hmm, fair enough. History. The police, the police were founded on this day. 1829. Wow. And in uh, 1938, the Munich Agreement between Britain, France and Germany cedes the Czech Sudatenland to Germany. Yes. And then, that's right, they took the Sudatenland. Wasn't there another pl place they, from somewhere else that they annexed or whatever they call it? And then they thought, oh, we were enough taking places that are slightly belonging to us or have people from our uh, land living there. Let's just carry on and take everything else as well. And that's what they started doing. And then we had to... Uh, we had to have a you know a bit of a disagreement with them and you know things were said and uh, you know bombs bullets you know that kind of thing yeah mm. all all got very ugly <laughs> anyway on this day in 1941 that Nazi mobile killing units murder 33,771 Jews from Kiev at Babi Yar the worst Einsatzgruppen atrocity Einsatz Einsatzgruppen atrocity yes. And that was one of the many things that happened during the war times, uh, but during the Nazi regime. Disgusting, disgraceful inhumanity. Not even, not even human to do that kind of thing. To do that kind of thing under the orders of your superiors, so to speak. Uh, yes. Doesn't really need to be said about that, does it? Really, it's uh, it's rubbish. 
it's nasty, it's horrible. Doesn't bear thinking about, but it doesn't doesn't shouldn't be forgotten though. Should not be forgotten. Thirty three thousand seven hundred and seventy one people were all killed on that one day. Einsatz group and there's a little thing there, let's just click on that one. Does that give you more information about Einsatz group and uh, no, so it leaks to the Holocaust, uh, yeah, about the Holocaust, is that what your insect group was? Mm, okay. Takes, takes more reading for sure. If you don't know stuff about it, make sure you educate yourself on this sort of thing. I'm on the BBC website, and uh, the history on this day on the BBC website, and you can click on that, and it gives you a, a view of the Holocaust by Dr. Steve Paulson. Yeah. Tells you more about it on there if you want to find out. Mm. It is estimated as many as 15 million civilians were killed by the regime. This is not the Jews were not the only victims of Nazism. It is estimated as many as 15 million civilians were killed by this murderous and racist regime, including millions of Slavs and Asiatics, 200,000 Gypsies, and members of various other groups. Thousands of thousands of people, including Germans, African descent, were forcibly sterilized. Yeah, that's just uh, some of the the fun japes that the Nazis got up to. I am being sarcastic, or oh, yeah, what I'm, they're not being, but yeah, obviously complete and utter bastards, evil scum. Oh, humans being humans, we are evil bastards. All right, anyway, let's move. Up. Let's do a poem. Yeah, we've heard about the worst of humanity. Let's try and let's try and uh, do some do, recite a poem that um, you know. Is poetry the best of humanity? It certainly is art, isn't it? Poetry. And it is far, far finer thing to make art than it is to make corpses and war. Uh, anyway, so here's a poem by someone called Marilyn Hacker, who was born in 1942. As usually, I'm reading it through for the first time, so there will be mistakes. Uh, this is called Pre. Oh, I got that wrong from the start. I told you there will be mistakes, I even got the title wrong already. And let's just see, make sure I'm not too. Yes, I do. That's not too bad for. Uh, don't be viewed on. Sometimes I do it and I'll, like that by accident, and it doesn't look very good. So there, um, yeah, it's me. I'm gonna do you a poem. It's called Crepuscle with Muriel. Instead of a cup of tea, instead of a milk silk welk of a cup, of a cup of nearly six o'clock tea time, cup of a stumbling block, cup of an afternoon unredeemed by talk, cup of a cut brown loaf, of a slice, a lack of butter, blueberry dram that's almost black. Instead of tannin seeping into the cracks of a pot, the void of an hour seeps out, infects the slit of a cut I haven't the wit to fix, with a surgeon's needles threaded with fine gold silk, as a key would thread the cylinder of a lock. But no key threads the cylinder of a lock. Late afternoon light, transitory, licks the place of the absent cup with its rough tongue, flicks itself out beneath the wheel's revolving spoke. Taught thoughts gone with a blink of attention, slack, a vision of death and distance in the mix. She lost her words, and how did she get them back when the corridor of a day was a lurching deck? The dream life logic encodes in nervous ticks. She translated to a syntax which connects intense and unfashionable politics with morning coffee, Hudson sunsets, sex, then the short circuit of the final stroke. The end towards which all lines looped out, then broke. What a gaze out the window interjects on the southeast corner, a black lab box. Tugged as the light clicks green toward a late day walk by a plump brown girl in a purple anorak. The Bronx bound local comes rumbling up the tracks, out of the tunnel, over West Harlem blocks, whose windows gleam on the animal warmth of bricks, rouged by the fluvial light of six o'clock. There you go. That was a funny old poem, wasn't it? It wasn't one really to be understood, I don't think. It was crazy. It was a crazy poem. It was a poem of words that didn't seem to make much sense as a sentence or, or any way. It's like a kind of like a bleh, mind going crazy kind of poem. Like you were just like picking up things and figuring things and figuring things through quickly and not really sort of concentrate on one thing. It was as if the ideas are featuring across the mind's eye of the poet. Or something like that. Uh, yeah, I was actually quite pleased with that reading. I think I read that pretty well. I'm trying to keep it slow, trying to read slightly ahead whilst, you know, concentrating on what I'm reading. So it wasn't too bad. Crepuscle with Muriel, that was called. Yeah. Thank you for listening to me talking. Thank you for listening to my talking on history and poetry and generally just talking about whatever the heck I like to talk about in a silly voice. 
I am going now. I shall return. On the morrow, I shall return. You will see me again if you come back to Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, maybe Facebook. Maybe YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I always post on Facebook as well. But yes, please subscribe. If you enjoy my wobbly, wobbly, wobbliness of my bloggy, bloggy, blog, blog. And uh, yeah, I will be back tomorrow. Bye.